Shalom. Let me start by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem, Rakah Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the house of David. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the world calls God. Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, who the world refers to as Jesus Christ. Ba'ashem is in the name. Rakah Kodash is the Holy Spirit. Also, Shalom to the 144,000 men that's laboring this truth for the sake of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. And Shalom to the innumerable multitude of men, women, and children that may be listening in all truth. And it's a Siri Shalom. This is your brother Kodash coming back here with another video to the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. And the title of this video, Lord Willem, it's going to be uh, about our Father's business. This is Luke chapter 2, verse 49. And he said unto them, How is it that ye sought me? Wist ye not that I must be about my father's business? All right, so when Yahweh Shai, when uh, Joseph and Mary were, were, uh, were looking for him after they left uh, Jerusalem, all right, uh, they went down to Jerusalem during the time of Passover. Um, yeah, it was during the time of Passover, you know. Um, and they noticed that Yahweh Shai wasn't with them. So they went about looking for him. When they finally found him, you know, uh, yeah, I'm going to read 48 says, And when they saw him, they were amazed. And his mother said unto him, Son, why hast thou not? It says, Why hast thou thus dealt with us? Behold, thy father and I have sought thee sorrowing. All right. And he answered, All right. Don't you know that I'm supposed to be about my father's business? All right. All right. All right. Re regarding this ministry, you know, and that's how we have to be. We have to uh, be about uh, Yahweh's business, man. All right. Preaching his word, reading, studying, staying up to date uh, with prophecy. All right. That's keeping watch. OK. And we have to do these things because. This is our duty. You know, first and foremost. And also, it says here in Jeremiah 3, verse verse 14, Turn, O backsliding children, save the Lord Yahweh. All right? So, the Lord wants us to turn back unto him. All right? Because we, we, uh, we have backslid, man. All right? We backslid. All right? We, 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 we fell away. All right? Scriptures talk about uh, unless there was a falling away first. Okay, so hey, this this was according to prophecy that we uh, that we backslid from the heavenly Father, but now that's the time to turn back. All right, so it's turn, O backsliding children. All right, so we was going the other way. Okay, spiritually. All right, now we're going back uh, the right way spiritually. Huh? All right, it says, for I am married unto you. And I will take you one of a city and two of a family, and I will bring you to Zion. All right. So we are the Lord's woman. Okay. The Lord is our husband. Okay. So hey, we gotta we gotta be given we gotta be given our due uh benevolence, man. All right, as as uh as being the women unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right, you know, we all like our we are like our woman. You know, to uh, give us attention. You know, we got to give them attention as well. All right. But the Heavenly Father, he gives us attention every day. Us waking up. Us waking up. That's the Heavenly Father, you know, uh, giving his due benevolence. You know. You know, us us eating, drinking. All right. All right. Because those are things that that's uh, that may be taken for granted, maybe taken lightly. You know, you're able to. Uh, Go in your refrigerator and, and get some water. That's the that's all through the Lord, man. All right, because you could be out here homeless, begging for food, begging for water, begging for change, so you can go get some food. All right, begging for change so you can go get a drink of water. Okay, because when the Lord brings this famine, all right, it's going to be uh, you're going to know the Lord is with you by Him enabling you to to have a drink. All right, to have a have a glass of water. All right, to hit, to be able to have a bite to eat, to eat a steak. All right, all these things are uh, 
is the Lord showing favor towards us, man. Okay, but it's taken for granted because you know you can you can you can go out and and get a steak anytime you want. Or right? you can go out and and get you can go out and get a Philly cheese steak whenever you want, man. Okay, you can go get some French fries, man. Okay, you you can go get anything that you want at any uh at any hour of the day. Okay, so the fact that the Lord is blessing us by able by being able to do that is taken for granted. Okay, but when there's a famine, when food is scarce out here, you're gonna see how much of a privilege and how much it is that the Lord is actually feeding you. All right, in those times. Okay, it says, and I will give you pastors. According to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. You know, and that's what the Lord is doing. The Lord is giving us uh, great examples. All right, starting with the apostles and the elders. All right, and their, their, and their elders, man. Okay. Starting with Abba Bibbins, man. All right. You know, so the Lord has given us uh, teachers according to his heart. All right, that's going to feed us with knowledge and understanding to be able to, uh, to come back. And to this fold, you know, Lord willing with that number, all right, to be able to 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 do the business of Yahweh Bashim Yam Shah, okay, because you can't hide your money under a napkin, all right, put it uh, it's, it says like dig it under the earth, uh, roughly paraphrasing, okay, because then it's good for nothing, you know. So us turning back unto the Heavenly Father, you know, like the Scripture says, you know, seek Him ten times more. Okay, completion, man. All right. So, this life, you know, is uh. Let me go here. Ecclesiastes twelve, and thirteen. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai, and keep His commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. Okay, and part of the Lord's commandments, the Lord commanded us to go out to the highways and byways and bid the marriage. All right, the Lord commanded us to feed the sheep, you know, and how do we feed the sheep? Do we actually, uh, do we go out, do we go outside, uh, gather up some grain and, uh, and feed literal sheep? No, we, we, uh, we, we, we study, we read, we, we, uh, we lay out lessons, we outline lessons. And we feed the sheep via the internet. This is spiritual food that we're feeding, man. Because scripture said back in Jeremiah that we shall feed. Uh, uh, he set up pastors according to his heart. That's going to feed you with knowledge and understanding. So that's what we're doing. We're feeding the sheep with knowledge and with understanding, man. Okay. It says, let us hear con the conclusion of the whole matter. When you go into the word conclusion, all right. Even when you learned it in middle school, conclusion is at the end. All right. All right. You you may read a whole essay, then at the end you have the conclusion, a summary of uh of everything that was written about. Okay, so it says, Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the most high and keep his commandments. And let me see here. I'm gonna look up the word for conclusion. Uh, conclusion. It says in conclusion. It says here in the etymology, result of a discussion or examination. The end. Yeah, that was a really good point there. You know, but that's the summary of the of the, of the whole scriptures, really. All right, is to fear Yahweh Bashim Al Shai and to keep his commandments, man. 
All right. The Lord commanded us to uh, to feed his sheep, man. OK, and he asked Peter three times, lovest thou me? All right. Peter said, thou knowest that I love you, Lord. All right. Feed my sheep. Let me actually go to that. So if we love the Lord, we're going to feed his sheep. This is uh, St. John 21 and verse 15. And when they had dined, Yahweh saith to Simon Peter, son, Simon, son of Jonah, lovest thou me more than these? And he saith unto him, Yea, yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. And he said unto him, Feed my sheep. He said to him again the second time, Simon, son of, son of, son of Jonah, lovest thou me? He saith unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto him, Feed my sheep. He saith unto him the third time, Simon, son of, Yon son of Jonah, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, Lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Yahweh Shai said unto him, Feed my sheep. Okay. All right. So it's very important that we feed, that we feed the sheep, man. All right. That and that we don't hide, you know, our talent under our napkin, man. All right, because that's that's gonna uh, inherit destruction, man. Destruction unto you, you know, for hiding your talents, man. All right. And we don't want to do that. Because you don't want to be destroyed. All right. And it's, and it's selfish as well. Because uh, scripture says. Uh, what it says labor. I know it says that we labor. It's in uh Ecclesiasticus. Yeah, it says uh, Ecclesiasticus, chapter twenty four, verse thirty four. Behold, that I have not labored for myself only, but for all them that seek wisdom. You see, so we're laboring for those that seek wisdom, man. All right. Sirach or Ecclesiasticus chapter 33 verse 17 consider that I labor not for myself only but for all them that seek learning you see so we're laboring not for ourselves only all right but for all them that seek learning all right we're feeding the lambs man feeding the sheep feeding the sheep of Yahweh Shemel Shah Okay, we're not out here trying to deceive. Okay, because if you're deceiving, then you're uh you're you are scattering abroad, man. And the judgment for false false prophets is written. Jeremiah twenty three and one Woe be unto the pastors that scatter, uh woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastor. Save the Lord Yahweh. Therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh of Israel against the pastors that feed my people. Ye have scattered my flock. You see? Scattered the flock, man. All right? You know, to now where the Lord, because the, uh, the lies has been out there. The sheep has been scattered, but the Lord is gathering them back. All right? And what does it say? Um, about the 99, let me see if I can find that. Let me finish this off. It says, Ye have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doings, saith the Lord. Uh, let me see how I'll convert it. 90 and... Yeah, this is Matthew 18, starting at 12. I'm 
I'm gonna start at eleven. It says for the son, uh, it says for the son of man has come to save that which was lost. All right, and who and who was lost? All right, the lost sheep. All right, the lost sheep of the house of Israel, man. All right. Uh, I'm going to go back to Matthew. I'm going to grab this real quick. Matthew 6 and verse 10, it says, But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So the Lord is coming back for those lost sheep, which are the elect. And yeah, verse 11, Matthew 18 and 11, For the Son of Man is come to save that which was lost. How think ye? If a man have an hundred sheep and one of them be gone astray, doeth he not leave the ninety and nine and goeth into the mountains and seeketh that which is gone astray? And if so be that he find it, verily I say unto him, say unto you, he rejoices more of that sheep than of the ninety and nine which went not astray. Even so, it is not the will of your father which is in heaven. That one of these little ones should perish. You see, he's going back to uh to Amos uh Amos nine, man. The Lord uh gathering uh let me just go to it real quick. I'm gonna go back. Amos nine and nine says, For lo I will command and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations like as corn is sifted. In the in the sieve, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. You see, so the Lord is gathering His elect, and he, and He's doing that as we speak. All right, the Lord is gathering His elect. Okay, so going back to thirteen, Matthew eighteen and thirteen, and if so be that He find it, verily I say unto you, rejoices more than the sheep. He He rejoices more of that sheep than of the ninety and nine which went not astray. Even so, it is not the will of your father, which is in heaven, that one of these little ones shall perish. All right. So if it's not his will, then it's not going to happen. man. Right? OK. The scripture says, if it were possible, he shall deceive the very elect. man." Right? Verse 15. Uh, yeah, that was the point. Yeah, that was the point. That's going on to uh, something else. You see, but that's the point, man. All right, so we we've been scattered, all right, but we are, but now we're turning back, all right, and now that we're turned back, all right, now it's time to be about to be about uh yeah, how about Shimei Al Shai's business? Okay, scriptures also speak about that we're meant to, that we're entering into other men's labors, okay, and hey, the apostles they 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 uh um. Just like a quick analogy, you know, when you dig in a when you dig in a trench and you, and it's just a flat ground, all right, you gotta you gotta do all the uh the hard work first. All right, then once you get under the ground, then it's easier to to dig that trench, all right, and to lead that path. So they the apostles and their elders, you know, all right, they've already done uh they've already uh pretty much dug up the trench. Now we just gotta keep keep on keep on digging. Keep on digging away. Okay. All right. We got to keep on digging away. And now it's, it's just getting easier and easier. And, and you know, and, and that pathway, uh, that pathway is already set for us, man. All right. Now we just, we just got to keep striving. You know, not to the sense that we're digging, that we're going lower and lower. You know, we're elevating through the spirit. I was just using that as an analogy, man. All right, but we're we're elevating uh through the spirit, man. All right, we well a better analogy we are building. All right, we have a foundation. All right, you got to do all the. We have a even when you build in the house. All right, when you first look at the grounds, like it's nothing there. How are we gonna have this house built? You know, but you lay down a foundation. All right, and then once the house is uh. Is being built, then you then you can see the uh then you can see the picture, man. All right, and that's 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 the stage that we're at now. All right, that the house is almost done being built, you know. So we just gotta, we just gotta keep uh 
keep um what's the correct word we have to keep you know adding things you know to this house spiritually speaking okay you know so we got to keep doing our lessons you know keep reading keep uh keep renewing our mind man okay because there's a lot of distractions in this world all right that's going to try to sway us all right you know, you sometimes you may feel unmotivated, all right, to uh, continue to build this house, all right. But you gotta, you gotta dig in, man. Okay, you gotta realize that uh, our salvation is on the line, man. Okay. So with that, you know, Lord willing, uh, this video was edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. I'm gonna close with that and give all the praise, honor, and glory to. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakakodash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the house of David, and to the next lesson I say Shalom, and Ababa Ba Shalom.